jioni hii ni washukuru wa Kenya wote pale mahala popote walipo wanao tusikiza katika hali mbalimbali mbali. na niseme ya kwamba tumefika hapa leo katika masaa haya tuweze kuvuka mwaka pamoja tunajikumbusha kwamba mwaka huu ulipoanza tulikuwa na changamoto nyingi mambo ya ugonjwa wa corona ilitupatia changamoto ugonjwa ambao ulileta maafa na matatizo mengi sio Kenya sio bara letu lakini dunia nzima tukawa pia na changamoto ya mambo ya drought kukosekana kwa mvua ikaleta matatizo makubwa tukawa pia na shida ya ukosefu wa usalama sehemu nyingi ya dunia hii Ukraine, Russia, hapa DRC, kule South Sudan, majirani zetu hapa Somalia. Lakini Mungu ametunusuru na ametufikisha mwisho wa mwaka wa 2022. Tunamshukuru Mungu jameni kwa sababu ametufikisha hapa. Mbali na zile changamoto zote God has made it possible for us to see the dying moments of the year 2022 as a people as a nation and I want to thank God for each and every Kenyan that today we are celebrating this evening the few moments of the year 2022 Vile vile tulikuwa na mtihani mkubwa wa uchaguzi katika taifa letu la Kenya na nasimama hapa mbele yenu kwa heshima kubwa kuwashukuru wa Kenya wale wote tulienda katika uchaguzi tukachagua ma MCA tukachagua wabunge ma senator governor na mimi pia nikabahatika mkanichagua kama rais pamoja na deputy wangu nasimama hapa mbele yenu kusema asante sana asante sana kwa kutupa nafasi mimi na wenzangu tuliochaguliwa na wao katika nyathifa mbalimbali mbali. na kuwaahidi ya kwamba mimi kama rais nitaungana na viongozi wenzangu ma MCA wabunge ma senator ma governor ili tushughulike na mipango ya, ma, ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya and i want to commit myself as i did that we are going to work together with all leaders elected at all levels so that we can focus on the development the progress and the prosperity of our nation together as leaders <laughs> najua ya kwamba wachache wetu mbali na kuwa na mirengo tofauti tofauti ya kisiasa ambayo ni kawaida ya demokrasia wachache wetu walijaribu kutugawanya kwa mirengo ama kwa sehemu za ukabila mimi namshukuru Mungu ya kwamba wale waliojaribu kutugawanya kama vikundi ya kikabila hawakufaulu. Na nawashukuru wa Kenya wote kwa sababu walikataa walikemea na sote pamoja tukashinda njama za ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na tukawa na uchaguzi ambao ulikuwa na mambo mawili ya muhimu ya kwanza tulikuwa na uchaguzi ambao ulizima mambo ya ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya 
na jambo la pili tukawa na uchaguzi ambao ulikuwa ni historia kwamba tulikuwa na uchaguzi wa amani katika taifa letu la Kenya na kwa msingi huo wa kuunganisha wakenya na kuondoa ukabila katika siasa zetu na katika msingi wa kuweka amani katika taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwaambie wakenya huo msingi mimi na wenzangu hawa ambao wamechaguliwa pamoja na mimi katika sehemu mbalimbali mbali. tutajenga juu ya hiyo msingi kuhakikisha ya kwamba sote tunaungana kama taifa na tayari nimewaambia wale wote wanaofanya kazi pamoja na mimi kutoka assistant chief mpaka regional commissioner askari wetu wote nimewaambia ya kwamba katika taifa letu la Kenya tuko na viongozi ambao wako katika upande wa serikali tuko na viongozi ambao wako katika upinzani lakini hawa wote ni watumishi wa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na nimewaambia ya kwamba lazima kila kiongozi aheshimiwe mahali amechaguliwa kila mmoja wetu tujue ya kwamba hakuna viung, hakuna wananchi wa upinzani na wa serikali wananchi wote ni wananchi wa taifa moja taifa la Kenya na sisi kama viongozi tulio upande wa serikali na tulio upande wa upinzani sote ni wafanyikazi wa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na na waomba viongozi wote katika safari hiyo tujue ya kwamba sote tunawatumikia wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya ile kazi tu imegawanywa ni kwamba kutakuwa na wale wanaendesha serikali na kutakuwa wana wale wanasaihisha hiyo serikali ili tuweze kuwa na uadilifu katika uongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya na tuweze kushughulikia mambo yanayofaa wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya jambo la pili napenda kuwauliza nyote kwamba sisi tumekula kiapo na tumekula kiapo kusema ukweli na kuendesha mambo ya taifa letu la Kenya kulingana na katiba na sheria ya taifa letu na kwa sababu hiyo kuna maamuzi ambayo ni lazima tuyafanye maamuzi ambayo kwa kawaida pengine sio maamuzi ambayo ni popular katika ile ambayo inasemekana and i want to say this very categorically that as president and as leaders we are going to make the decisions that are necessary for us to make progress as a nation when i came in the office i had to make difficult decisions about our economy because we were not doing well and we need to change the foundation of our economy i found that there were decisions that were made for political expediency for that time because we had an election and the decisions about some subsidies in unga subsidies in fuel subsidies in electricity that were not informed by the science of our economy but were informed by the expediency of the political moment that existed at that time we have had to do away with those subsidies because otherwise they would cost our economy big time we would be spending close to 25 billion shillings every month to subsidize some of the projects or programs that were set out we did away with those subsidies in august and i am happy that we have saved our economy huge amounts of money and we are now well on the way to making sure that we invest in the areas that will drive our economy in a sustainable manner let me inform my good countrymen 
that we agreed that we are going to build this economy from bottom going up. And we have started that journey by making sure that our economy is founded on sound economic policies that will stand the test of time today, tomorrow, and the years to come. And that is why I am very confident that we have now laid the foundation that will take our economy away from dependence on debt to dependence on revenues that are raised by taxpayers in Kenya. Na waambi ya ndugu zangu wa Kenya, hatu wezi kuendesha taifa letu katika msingi wa kukopa madeni. Mzee mwai kubaki ya letufundisha ya kwamba msingi ambao unafaa kwenye uchumi ni msingi ambao unajengwa na ushuru na revenues ambazo wa Kenya wenyewe wanazitoa. Mimi nataka niwaambie wa Kenya tayari tuko na dalili mzuri ya kwamba mwaka mmoja ijayo tutakuwa tumeongeza mapato yetu kutoka trilioni mbili mpaka trilioni tatu. Na hivyo hivyo kufikia miaka mitano we will have doubled our revenues so that we can build our economy on the sound footing of our own revenues collected locally rather than being trapped in debt. So tunaendelea hivyo sisi wote na haya ni mambo ya muhimu na ni lazima tuambiane ukweli ndio tuweze kujenga taifa letu sio kwa siasa ya muda mfupi lakini kwa msingi wa uchumi ambao utatufikisha mbali. Vile nilivyosema tunajenga hii uchumi na maendeleo yetu tukianzia chini. Tayari tulikubaliana na nyinyi kama wa Kenya ya kwamba tutaanza kuangazia uchumi ya wananchi wa, wa, walio na uwezo mdogo. Na ndio sababu tayari tumeweka Hustler Fund ambayo kufikia leo wa Kenya wamekopa zaidi ya bilioni ishirini kuendesha biashara zao pale chini. Na hiyo fund tutaiongezea kila mwezi mpaka tuhakikishe kwamba yule mkenya amekopa shilingi tano ataweza kukopa shilingi elfu hamsini tukiendelea mbele. Na vile vile kufikia mwezi ujao tutaanza awamu ya pili ambayo itashughulika na mambo ya sakos, itashughulika na mambo ya eh, vyama na mambo ya cooperative ndio tuweze kupatia nafasi kila mkenya aweze kujijenga kibiashara aweze kukopa kwa riba ya chini na aweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba wale ambao wa wamekuwa wakiangaisha wa Kenya kama mabroka na makatel na wale mashailok sasa itawabidi watafute biashara ingine kwa sababu hapo tutakuwa tumeshughulika pamoja na nyinyi vile vile nimekubaliana na magavana ya kwamba wa Kenya wengi wanaoishi katika vitongoji duni ambaye inaitwa slums na sehemu zingine informal settlements tumekubaliana ya kwamba every year tutajenga nyumba elfu mbili. na tayari nimekubaliana na governor wa Mombasa ya kwamba program ya nyumba elfu kumi za Mombasa tuanze kuipangia tayari inajengwa saa hizi nyumba elfu arobaini tutaanzisha singine mapema mwaka huu nitakuwa nakuru nitakuwa bungoma nitakuwa um, kule homabay nitakuwa hapa Mombasa na sehemu zingine za Kenya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunawapa nafasi wa Kenya ambao wako na mapato ya chini kuweza kuwa na nyumba ya shilingi elfu tano, shilingi elfu kumi, alipe sio rent lakini alipe mortgage ili baada ya miaka kumi na tano, miaka ishirini, nyumba pia awe ndio mwenye nyumba, nyumba ni yake vile vile tumekubaliana 
ya kwamba mambo ya kuteremusha ama kushusha gharama ya maisha ni lazima tushughulikie mambo ya chakula wananchi wengi wananiuliza maswali kuhusu mambo ya chakula na ni vizuri ni ajibu yale maswali ya kwanza ni kwamba njia mwafaka the permanent solution towards matters of reducing our cost of food is not subsidy it is to support our farmers to produce more food na ndio tumekubaliana ya kwamba mwaka huu tayari katika hapa Mombasa tuko na tan 1200 ya mbolea ambayo itasaidia wakulima wetu kuanzia mwezi ujao tuhakikishe ya kwamba wakulima wetu wanapata msaada wa kuzalisha chakula ndio chakula ipatikane kwa bei nafuu ndio tuondoe shida na matatizo ya chakula kuwa bei gali nambari ya pili tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutatumia ardhi ya serikali ama mashamba ya corporations ya serikali agricultural development corporation agricultural finance corporation nys prisons um, na vitengo zingine zote zenye ardhi kuhakikisha kwamba tunapata ardhi karibu ekari elfu mbili ya kuzalisha chakula na kuzalisha mbegu ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mbegu ya kutosha tuwe na fertilizer ya kutosha ndio tuzalishe chakula ya kutosha tuondoe kabisa aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya na vile 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 mumesikia tuko na mpango maalum tutaanza bwawa la kwanza katika ile program yetu ya um, private public partnership kuanzia mwezi wa tatu mwaka huu ili tuweze kujenga mabwawa moja sa kwanza na tano baadaye kuhakikisha kwamba tunatega maji ya kutosha tuna harvest maji ya kutosha ndio tuweze kushughulika na matatizo ya maji ya matumizi nyumbani maji ya mifugo zetu na maji pia itatumika na wanyama na vile vile maji itakayotumika na irrigation tuweze kuzalisha chakula tuweze kupeleka taifa letu mahali ambapo hatutakuwa na matatizo ya njaa mumesikia muhubiri hapa amesema ya kwamba ni ile makosa sisi binadamu tumefanya tukaribu mambo ya mazingira mpaka ikatokea janga hata wanyama wasio na hatia wanakufa kwa sababu ya ile makosa sisi binadamu tumefanya hasara tumelete ya mambo ya mazingira na ndio mimi nakubaliana na governor wa hapa Mombasa nimekubaliana na yeye vile amesema ya kwamba hapa Mombasa akiajiri mtu mmoja nitamuajiria mtu mwingine mmoja akiajiri watu elfu moja nitaajiri watu wengine elfu moja waweze kusaidiana kusafisha Mombasa na vile vile kuweka hali ya mazingira hapa Mombasa hapa Mombasa peke yake ni vizuri tuwe, uh, tuweze uh, kuweka miche ama miti zaidi ya milioni kumi hapa Mombasa Island ndio tuhakikisha kwamba hii Mombasa Island inakaa vile inapaswa so that we can have the environment in Mombasa to change and i want to assure the governor of Mombasa a very hard working young man my good brother that we are going to work together as i will work with other governors to make sure that matters environment are not matters political they are matters life and death let me also say that because our human capital is the biggest asset we have as a nation utenda kazi ya wa kenya inajulikana ni maarufu kila mahali nimeenda nchi nyingi na nchi hizo zote wanatambua utendakazi na bidii ya wakenya kazini na ili tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba we sharpen that human capital ndio sababu tumesema ni vizuri turekebishe mambo yetu ya masomo tumeweka task force 
ya kushughulika na mambo ya masomo, masomo ya primary, masomo ya secondary, masomo ya TVET, masomo ya university na ningependa kuwatangazia wa Kenya kwamba hiyo transition we will make sure that that transition works in the best interest of ensuring that we have the best and the most qualified human capital that is going to work anywhere in Kenya and work anywhere in the world. It is our intention to build a world-class human capital using our education system. And that is why we have set out this January, we are going to hire an additional 30,000 teachers to make sure that our primary to junior secondary transition is faultless. We are also going to hire another 3,000 tutors to take care of our Tibet institutions because in Tibet we have the best human capital that is tailored towards the sciences, the mathematics, and the areas that are going to lead us to engineering because that is the future that we are looking for. Apart from hiring teachers for our junior, uh, for our primary and junior secondary, we're going to hire also, as I have said, 3,000 teachers or tutors for our Tibet institutions. We're going to equip another 70 Tibet institutions. We will spend 15 billion shillings to make sure that we have the equipment that will assist in the training of our Tibet students to make sure that we prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow and the future. I also want to give our assurance that from the presidential task force, we are also going to sort out the challenges our universities are facing. We know many universities are facing serious debts because of the expanded nature of the program, we're going to focus on ensuring that our universities also are given attention so that they can teach quality uh, courses and ensure that the students get the best attention that a university is supposed to give. Let me also conclude by saying the following, that we did commit that we are going to transform our in industrialization, manufacturing, agro-processing, value addition trajectory. In the last 10 years, our manufacturing has gone backwards from 9% of GDP to 7% of GDP. We have agreed that we are going to change the trajectory and we have a 20 by 30 plan that by 2030, 20% of our GDP will be contributed by industrialization, manufacturing, agro-processing, and value addition. And along that line, Mombasa, Naivasha, and Adi River will be the epicenter of our program on ensuring that our special economic zones contribute to our manufacturing endeavor. I have already instructed that the Dongo Kundu program that was supposed to be ready by 2028 be brought forward to 2025. As I made a commitment to the people of Mombasa that we are going to do something about the port, we have already done what we promised about the port so that we can bring back Mombasa the way we knew Mombasa as it was. And I want to promise the people of this great county that we are going to work with you to make sure that we unlock the huge potential for manufacturing, for agro-processing, for our tea, for our coffee, and all the areas that are necessary so that Mombasa and the special economic status it enjoys gives us the benefit of employment and of value addition for all our agro-processing. I also want to commit that the industrial city in Naivasha is going to be the epicenter for all our production in 
leather, in textile, and in all the other areas so that we can make the best use of the SGR and make sure that it gives us the benefit it is supposed to give. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie ya kwamba wakati tunaelekea hiyo safari, sote tutakuwa tumeungana, sote tutakuwa tunafanya hiyo kazi tukishirikiana, na mimi nataka muelewe ya kwamba hiyo safari haiwezi kutekelezwa na wachache. Haiwezi kutekelezwa na mtu mmoja. Itabidi zote tuungane na ndio sababu na wauliza viongozi wote na wauliza ndugu zetu walio katika bunge mtoe mchango wenu katika bunge wale walio katika senate wafanye na hivyo magovernors wenzangu ambao wanafanya kazi kama governors wafanye sehemu yao na sisi kama serikali ya kitaifa tutashirikiana pamoja na wote tuhakikishe kwamba tunawaunganisha wa Kenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile vile ya kwamba ndugu zetu walio katika upinzani mimi ninafurahi ya kwamba leo tuko na ndugu zetu ambao wanashughulika na kazi ya upinzani hiyo ni kazi ya muhimu kwa sababu inaweka serikali iliyoko katika mahali ambapo wanajua wanafanya kazi na wananchi wanahitaji kujua kazi yao imefika wapi ile mimi nilikataa ni kwamba tuendelee na ile mambo ya zamani ya kujaribu kuchanganya upinzani na serikali ikosekane mtu wa kusema mambo yameenda kombo i am very happy that today we have a working opposition that speaks to us from the opposition benches that looks at what is not going right and tells us what is not going right that is a functioning democracy and that is what is what the kenya what the people of kenya wanted in our constitution we must not work at cross purposes and we will not take offense of what the opposition says whether it is right or not right it is for the people of kenya to judge what i am happy about is that today we have a functioning democracy and that is how it should be hakuna haja ya kusumbuana mimi na nganana pande hii na mambo ya kuendesha mambo ya serikali wale ndugu zetu pia wanangangana upande ile na kusukuma mambo ya upinzani hiyo ni mambo mzuri sana tuendelee namna hiyo kenya iweze kwenda mbele na wakenya watafaidika hapa katikati sote tuungane katika kushughulikia mambo ya wakenya mimi nataka nimalizie kwa kusema ya kwamba nimefurahi sana kufika mji huu wa Mombasa nataka niombe wabunge wenzangu ama wabunge ndugu zangu tusaidiane katika mambo ya mazingira climate change is a reality we are living the nightmare of drought that we have never seen in 40 years we have lost two and a half million livestock we have lost even wildlife as pastor here said innocent creatures that have committed no wrong but because of the activities of humankind we have a drought situation that is hurting every aspect of our life and even if there was no climate change making sure that we plant trees everywhere is still the right thing to do let me ask every kenyan wherever they are this is the moment to participate in ensuring that we manage our situation our climate situation we manage our environment appropriately ensuring that we plant trees everywhere including your home state at any moment every time I think it is correct to say to plant trees there is no correct time any time you should be able to plant trees and I want to tell all the counties that I am going to work with them I'm going to work with every county we have a plan with a ministry uh, that is responsible for environment to ensure that we build the momentum around planting trees and ensuring that every Kenyan is involved 
in this drive. And we are going to hire enough young people to help us drive as the Environmental League to ensure that our country, we rid ourselves of the challenge that we currently have of climate change. Finally, even as we mind about our country, it is correct for us to understand that we have a region to also mind. We have challenges in our region. We have challenges in Somalia. I had a chat with the president of Somalia the other day, about two, three days ago. I received a message today from the president of South Sudan. I spoke yesterday with the president of DRC Congo because they want us as a country to assist them in their own challenges of insecurity in their countries and political challenges in their countries. And I want to ask us, as the people of Kenya, to pray for our neighbors, to be available for us to support our military as they do uh, provide security in DRC, as they provide security in, um, in Somalia, and even as we work with our brothers and sisters in South Sudan for the good of our region, and even as we uh, speak with our friends in Ethiopia. All of us are in this region, and as was said by somebody, there is a reason why we are the leaders, we are the people in Kenya at this point in time, and we need to work together. Um, pengine tu ni muambie, nili, nili, nili skia, eh, mubiri ya lituombea, na kaombea hii serikali ya Kenya. Mimi nataka ni muambie, serikali yambayo hiko, sio yangu binafsi, serikali ni yetu sisi zote. There is only one government of Kenya. I happen to be the leader today, but the government of Kenya remains the government of Kenya, and it belongs to all of us, and it is our government. So let us continue to pray for our government so that it serves the people of Kenya in the manner in which it is meant uh, to serve. Nataka ni malizi hapo na ni washkuru sana. Niliona vizuri ni onge kabla ya kufika wakati ambao tuta... tuta uh, tuta celebrate kufuka mwaka mimi nataka ni waambie ninyi mulio hapa na wale wote wa Kenya walio sehemu mbalimbali za taifa letu la Kenya happy new year happy 2023 na tazamia kufanya kazi na nyinyi wote kushughulika na mambo ya Kenya pamoja na wa Kenya wote na sote tuweze kuchangia Mahali ambapo tunaweza, kwa, mahali, kwa kiasi ambayo tunaweza katika kusukuma kurudumu la taifa letu liende mbele. Kwa sababu hapo ndipo uwezo wa kila mmoja wetu unaitajika. Nitachukua sasa nafasi hii, niulize bandi yetu ya polisi wakukaribia hapa, wakukaribu. Na niulize pia ile kwaya ilikuwa hapa, wakuje hapa. Ndiyo tuweze ikifika saa ile saa sita. Tuweze kuimba ile wimbo ambayo na sote na pili tutasimama wakati huo. Tuweze kuimba ile wimbo 